Hello everyone again. I'm so pleased to see you here and I hope that more and more people will join us as we continue talking and praying. Uh, these sessions are dedicated to pray for people and nations as uh, we continue and I, I will follow the leading of the Holy Spirit as I said before. Uh, each session might vary and each session will be different so it's not going to be always praying for uh, countries or nations or things like that like more general or might be more specific to you as it's going to be today because I'm going to pray for you for uh, especially for certain people uh, I'm not going to name any names but uh, I've had a dream uh, a few weeks ago not too long ago and it is very relevant to the requests I've had also after that uh, to pray for certain people now I'm not gonna again as I said name or mention any names uh, but I will pray as now I think is the time to do that but before I do that if you're watching this video on truly majestic YouTube channel truly majestic YouTube channel is my wife's YouTube channel so if you are not interested in other things like uh, my wife publishes every now and then uh, I don't want you to just be driven away and I don't want to lose you definitely I want to have you so please go to our ministry YouTube channel which is the prophetic word and uh, it is very difficult to find on the YouTube because it's really heavily suppressed by the powers and so uh, I put the link down in the description of this video uh, if you're already there watching it on prophetic word then that's fine but if you're watching it on other YouTube channels uh, mainly truly majestic um, I would appreciate if you go uh, find the link in the description and go to that link subscribe so you see all my videos and you're not um, you know getting surprise videos that you might not be interested in uh, we definitely don't want to lose people we want to grow this channel and, and this is a channel we've dedicated if you watch our uh, mission statement on my website on our ministries website jesusministries.co.uk you'll see what uh, our ministry is based on and what we want to do and what is our aim uh, i'm not going to repeat that again but this is the basic uh, foundation what we want to do is to uh, preach the gospel uh, get more people saved uh, reach more and more people heal people deliver people from the hands of Satan and raise awareness of whatever uh, is happening in the world and whatever God lays on my heart at, at any time, any given time. Uh, back to uh, what I was saying, I had a dream a while ago that I was in front of an audience in a classroom. And now if you don't know uh, my profession uh, my background is electrical engineering lecturer I, I, I taught at different colleges and universities in this country and um, I've worked in industries as well but uh, that's besides the point but to be in a classroom environment is my kind of it's, it's kind of second nature to me so and maybe that's why I saw myself in a classroom but however uh, it, it was a secular uh, environment it wasn't a religious environment it wasn't the church and that is the that is the point and uh, there were people who were struggling with addiction and they wanted to give up they wanted to quit let's say smoking or what, whatever drugs they were on but they couldn't and they were so entangled and uh, in my dream I was thinking how do I tell them how do I preach to them that they can be delivered 
without you know crossing the lines because you know you have restrictions also in colleges as well in in, this, in any secular uh, society with the way things are and the way the laws are uh, adding on top of each other every day uh, creating more and more hurdles for people like us uh, to use the Bible Bible verses or scriptures so I, I didn't know exactly how to uh, say that without offending which is a lie people um, and uh, without sounding like a Bible basher so um, in my dream I uh, thought of this and I said it this way I said look you have been given the willpower everybody has a willpower that is not there for nothing you have the power within you to change whatever it is in it, 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 that is in your life that you don't like you have that power use that that power is not there for nothing it's not a decoration you have to use your willpower to change and I kept going on and on and I, could, I was shocked at the way I was speaking with power and non-stoppable I was talking and I can't remember all the talks I did but I remember this that I was using secular word and not even a single scripture to to tell them that they have the power within themselves to change whatever they don't like about themselves whatever it is they're entangled with and they don't like it they want to be free they want to be delivered from their situation but they can't they feel enslaved by their drugs by their their smoking habits by their whatever they have in their life but their by their lifestyle they want to be freed from that but they're so entangled and they feel imprisoned by it they feel enslaved by it they feel entangled and trapped no way back no way forward but I gave him that um, little speech and, and, and encouraged them and they were all um, at all and, and surprised and, and they didn't expect me to say all those things because the whole thing was a different area different environment and we were there for a different purpose but they were encouraged and uh, lots of them changed their own situation and, and they got free from their their um, entanglement if you like and that was my dream after that uh, after we started you know live sessions I've had quite a few requests from people to pray over their alcohol addiction drugs addiction whatever addiction they've got and we know addiction is bad you have to know that addiction is bad for you you can pray till cows come home you can prophesy till you can prophesy for England you can pro you can you can read the whole Bible if you don't get to that point to understand this is not doing you any good this is harmful for you for your family is ruining you it's ruining your health it's ruining your family it's ruining your soul it is quenching the Spirit of God the Holy Spirit do not quench the Holy Spirit the Bible says do not quench the Holy Spirit how can you quench the Holy Spirit just that way by watching things you're not to you're not supposed to watch by doing things you're not supposed to do by uh, things that might not be listed in the Ten Commandments they're not listed as sins but James says it good 
he says if you know what is good and not do it that is sin that is sin for you so sins that means to me that sins can vary from person to person what is sin to you might not be sin to your friend you understand we're not giving license for people to sin there are certain things is listed and they're all clear clear as you know crystal and they are black and white written in the tablets they're written in the books of the, the Bible and we know what those are and we know those are sin you can't you can't uh, wash them down you can't water it down you can't uh, change them you can't you know make it suitable for yourself like they are trying uh, but we're not saying that we're not we're not talking about we're talking about specific things that are, are in our modern day society that were and then like let's say uh, smoking you know uh, that wasn't the kind of thing that they were doing at least as far as we know as far as the Bible teaches us so that wasn't the problem then there were probably other addictions they would be I'm sure but not this case so what, with this case you have to understand there are other scriptures which encompasses all of that and I'm going to read a uh, a uh, few verses of scripture here just to just to uh, juggle your memory and uh, starting from Galatians chapter 5 verses 16 to 26 I'm just going to read quickly I say then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh for the flesh lusts against the spirit they're contrary to each other they're against each other flesh and the spirit the spirit means the spirit of god the holy spirit and the spirit against the flesh for the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit and the flesh uh, sorry for the uh, for the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary to one another so that you do not do the things that you wish it's exactly what you know same as what I was dreaming they want to do it but they they can't do they don't do it they don't do what they wish to do but if you're led but if you're led by the spirit you are not under the law now the works of the flesh are evident they're clear which are adultery these are clear clear sins so you can't wash them down like they are doing and and this is what i'm trying to say don't try to take my words and chop them to pieces and 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 use them against me or others and say this is what this man says uh, uh, you you have no right to do that um, the uh, word of God is clear uh, it's written right here in black and white you can see and, and I'm just gonna read the rest of this it says now the words of the flesh the, the works of the flesh are evident which are adultery fornication uncleanness lewdness idolatry sorcery hatred contentions jealousies outbursts of wrath selfish ambitions selfish ambitions encompasses a lot of things dissensions heresies envy murders drunkenness reveries and the like of which I tell you beforehand just as I also told you in time past that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God did you notice that there is drunkenness there there, are, there is fornication there there is 
uncleanliness, adultery, all those, all that is in the list. You can refer to that again yourself. Galatians chapter 5 verses 16 to 26. I'll continue. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. The fruit of the Spirit is love. So this is what you have to manifest. Love. Joy. And don't mistake that love for lust. Love is brotherly love. The kind of love that Jesus had for his church, his body. For us, you have to have the same love. The same love that he um, had for his body and we have to have for our wives and wives should have for their uh, husbands and uh, and so so on and so forth. So this is not, don't make a mistake, <laughs> that love is not lost. Uh, because the word love is changed by Hollywood uh, so much and it's been so trashed that anybody uses love, I love you, and it means nothing these days. But we're not talking about that. And we talk about the true, true love. Unconditional love, mother's love, father's love. Let me continue. Uh, verse 22 but the fruit of the spirit is joy sorry but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self control self control against such there is no law and those who are Christ have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the spirit, and if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. So let's stop provoking and envying one another, coveting our neighbors, possessions and let us know that if we are Christ, if we belong to Christ, if we have the Holy Spirit, let us also live in the Spirit. That means following, living by the Spirit, following the footsteps of the Spirit, not the flesh, not taking the lead uh, of the flesh wherever it takes us have self-control and that's what I was saying in my dream as well you have the willpower you have self-control you need to use that self-control and that is written here black and white in the Bible and, and it tells you the same thing as I, as I had in my dream telling um, my, my audience or my students you have self-control use that self-control for the good of your own health your body, remember, is the temple of the Lord. So you have to look after your body. You have the accountability of your body. You can't harm yourself. You are self-harming yourself by taking drugs or even watching things that you're not supposed to watch, listening to the things that you're not supposed to listen. And you know it because you will know your conscience will tell you that if you have the holy spirit in you he will tell you that that is why you have the holy spirit because the holy spirit is there as your counselor as your guide as your teacher jesus says when i send you the holy spirit the counselor he will teach you he will guide you you won't need any teacher You don't need that. Your conscience is sharpened after you receive the Holy Spirit. Your conscience is sharpened. You know what is right, what is wrong. You should know that. I can't tell you what's wrong, what's right. Apart from what's written here and what I just read here, which is clear, uh, it's clear crystal, adultery is wrong, fornication is wrong. There is no question about it. There is no, there is no debate about it. 
You can't say, well, what about this condition? There is no other, there is no condition. Under no circumstances, adultery can be right. Under no circumstances, fornication can be right. But you, because you have no verse of scripture about alcohol, well, actually has, we just read that, drunkenness. You have no direct uh, verse of scripture about smoking cannabis. Well, you might argue that, but I'm here to stop that because we just read self-control and we just read, um, what was it? Uh, I'm just going through, through the uh, list. Um, outbursts of wrath selfish ambitions that is a selfish ambition you want to get high you want to get into a position not to think about your uh, wife your children all the worries that you might have all the concern that you should have to think about the solution about them you want to get rid of those you want to get rid of those for a momentarily pleasure that is selfish ambition that is a clear sin. For selfish, selfish ambitions that you might have, you want to have five minutes of this music and ten minutes of that video to gratify your sinful nature. We just read that. It doesn't actually have to spell out a, a name, the name of a certain drug the name of a certain movie, the name of a certain uh, music, it doesn't have to, it's there. You just have to know, you just have to accept and, and follow the leading of the, sp the Spirit within you. The Holy Spirit is t telling you, you know it's wrong, you know what's doing, what you're doing is wrong. You just don't want to listen to that. You just want to stick your head in the sand and and think that it doesn't it's not there but it is wake up wake up you sleeper wake up and rise up use your self-control that God has given you God has given you that for a reason not to just be lazy and just do whatever pleases your flesh you have to do what the Holy Spirit tells you. By doing what you're doing, you're quenching the Holy Spirit, if you have the Holy Spirit in you. Uh, most likely, if you are in that situation, you haven't ever even been filled with the Holy Spirit. You might not have been even born again as a child of God. So you need to cleanse yourself spiritually and fill yourself again with the Holy Spirit. Get into a local church that you might have ask somebody to pray for you I'll pray for you here now and uh, you can stretch your hands I believe that you'll be washed again you'll be washed away from your sins and cleansed from your all your immorality acts of uh, lewdness and anything that you've had in the past you'll be washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ and your mind will be cleansed and washed from any corruption any corrupt thoughts any evil thought lines that you might have had but you have to also have the self-control you have to have the willing willingness to want this I can pray forever if you don't receive it, if you don't have that willingness, that intention to turn around and change things, nothing's going to happen. You have to receive the same as salvation. Jesus has died for us. Jesus is our high priest and intercedes for us. But if we don't receive that, if we don't believe him, and if we don't kneel down and stretch our hands to him and cry out for salvation to receive this the, the salvation that he put on the silver platter to give us as his ultimate sacrifice as god's ultimate sacrifice then we're not saved we're not born again 
children of God. It only takes that willingness, that intention, that convinced conviction in your heart and mind that this lifestyle, this lifestyle that I've had, this uh, way of life that I've had is wrong. I have to change it. I have to put an end to it. I have to do that. Nobody's going to do it for me. And nobody is going to force you to do it. Unless you actually want to do it, then they can help you. We can help you. I'll pray for you. And you shall be delivered today. Because there are people, like I said, they emailed me. And you might be watching me live now or you'll be watching me later. Take this prayer, follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, believe and make this your turning point. Change your life for the good of yourself, your family, your children if you have, your parents, whoever they are in your circle, they will celebrate your victory over your master your victory over what has mastered you so far but your master is going to disappear in a flash of light as soon as you make that commitment have that convic conviction in your heart make that commitment believe and receive Jesus Christ in you and follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you, I pray for you, whoever you are, that you're in bondage to sin, to something that you know is sin, to something that you know is entangled and has enslaved you for a long time. And you want out of it. You want to be free again. You want to be set free but I have good news for you the Bible says he who the Son sets free is free indeed you are free indeed receive the salvation receive the gift of God the Holy Spirit the blood of Jesus Christ washes you today from all your sins in the past you are a new creation in Jesus Christ you're a new creation now you are born again child of God God has forgiven you and washed you because you believe in Jesus Christ and his ultimate sacrifice that he died on the cross and he rose again on the third day and I ask that you may be filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit rest and abide in you and give you the guidance courage will and the power and everything you need to have self-control over any selfish ambitions any desires of the flesh that are contrary to the spirit to the desires of the spirit the holy spirit within you and that you will be victorious in this battle coming out cleansed washed as a child of God filled with the Holy Spirit and you will manifest this the fruit of the Holy Spirit the fruit of the Spirit all that I just counted I just named love joy peace gentleness kindness all that will manifest from you because now you're a child of God now you have that self-control empowered by the Holy Spirit now. The same way your conscience is empowered and sharpened by the Holy Spirit, your self-will and self-control, your willpower have been equipped with the Holy Spirit, with the power of the Holy Spirit. Imagine that, God in you nothing there is nothing you cannot conquer in all these things we are more than conquerors the Bible says we are more than conquerors 
But you can't be a conqueror if there is no hurdle, if there is no enemy. You are a conqueror because you've conquered your enemy, your troubles, your problems. That evil master that was over you, enslaving you and taking you hostage. Now you're freed. You're freed by the power of the Holy Spirit, by Jesus Christ, by his sacrifice. and your self-control, the willpower you have within you is magnified and empowered by the Holy Spirit. Take this now as your turning point and live a life worthy of Christ. Be representative of God in your own circle. I decree and declare freedom, health, and power of self-control in your mind, soul, and spirit, and that you will live a life worthy of God, worthy of Jesus Christ, and live a full life and enjoy life to the full in total health in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you all again next Tuesday. Till then, goodbye and God bless.